जय हिंद आई एम कैप्टन याशिका हटवाल त्यागी द फर्स्ट लेडी ऑफिसर फ्रॉम इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेज टू बी पार्ट ऑफ बैटल जोन इन ऑपरेशन विजय आई एम अ कारगिल वॉर वेटरन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वुमेन इन इंडियन आर्मी इज अ ह्यूज वैल्यू एड नॉट जस्ट फॉर आर्म फोर्सेज बट फॉर द सोसाइटी एज वेल दीज आर द वेमेन हु आर ब्रेकिंग थ्रू द स्टीरियो टाइप्स सेकेंडली there is a shortage of officers in indian armed forces and having women is certainly going to increase the range and pool from where the eligible and the perfect candidates can be selected for indian armed forces without gender bias thirdly these days the war is not just being fought in remote locations they are being fought in highly populated zones where the interaction with local population counts a lot the collection of local int is a very very big part in winning any war so women being part of that domain certainly is going to be a huge value add women started coming to indian army in the year 1993 they were just 25 in the first batch that was not even a drop in the huge ocean of armed forces well so certainly in this minority women had to work extra they had to blend in yet stand out quite a dichotomy isn't it but men let me tell you they can sense the competence they can sense the hard work gender does not matter to them competence does i was posted to leh and ladakh in the extreme cold climate and high altitude area my unit was responsible for equipping the highest battle zone in the world the siachen glacier here the terms of working were totally different sub zero temperatures dipping down to minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 and in glacier we know it dips down to minus 50 rarefied atmosphere we had to survive on less than 50% of the oxygen altitudes 12000 feet and above and in this condition i was the only lady officer as far as eyes could see but the men i commanded always saw how hard i was working to fit in and not just to fit in but to perform best of the best and then came the battle of kargil where gender did not matter we were working day in and day out and here i think the patriarchal lines just blur they see an officer the ranks the uniform the jazba the junoon and the leadership qualities of course with the three decades of having women wearing uniform much clarity has come about their role about their capabilities and how they can be effectively used by our forces now national defense academy is opening its door for young girls to join indian armed forces the girls as young as 19 also young girls of 17 years and above will also be joining or rather they have already started joining army as soldiers now when such young age group comes into a training establishment which is very physically intensive we need to equip these young girls whose body clocks probably have not shaped also their menstrual cycles their menstrual health needs to be addressed what better than a healthcare platform to discuss this topic when they run for 40 kilometers with 20 kg of battle load on their shoulders rifle in their hands radio sets on their backs and they are bleeding they just want a good product they want to be introduced to menstrual cups they want to be introduced to tampons or probably something better that technology or the present day uh, progress can help them with mind you these young girls are full of himmat they are full of determination grit 
is their second name. They just want your help to give them a better product. Let me tell you, the country is safe in their hands. You just take care of their menstrual health. Make them perform. Let them take wings. And today, on this Women's Day, I implore the entire health sector society to come forward, to take these girls in their arms and tell them that their job is to perform. Their job is to focus on training. They should not be held back only because they are having periods. Mental toughness is a gender neutral term. Mental toughness is as important for men as it is for women. And I believe that women have a gift of being mentally tough. They have a gift of handling stress. They have a gift of multitasking. But we should not abuse it to a level where the stress just eats them up. When we come to academy, the first thing that is taught to us is to be mental tough. To break the comfort zone and to go beyond. Mental toughness does not ask you to wear uniform. It is an attitude. How do they handle the stress so that their performance is not affected and neither is their mental health? So there are various checks and balances evolved over a period of time and they are exercised at every stage. Stage one, we have a system of buddy pair where two people are made buddies. They talk, they discuss and as we say that if you share, half your problems are over. Secondly, we have a very open system where the company commanders speak to the Jawans under their command. And thirdly, every month the commanding officer speaks and addresses the Jawans. Commanding officer is the father figure of the unit. And so, with so many checks and balances, where communication is given a free hand, most help is seeked by the people and it is handled right at the stage where even the person does not know that he's having a problem. Indian Armed Forces also have a very thriving tribe of psychologists at every station. And any Jawan, any officer, members of their families can access these facilities at any point of time, which are of course totally free of cost because Indian Army believes in keeping the mental health at the forefront. So physical health as well as the mental health keeps the soldier of an Indian army ready at all times. Pandemic has taught all of us how important it is to be mentally strong, how important it is to value the family, how important it is to fight against an invisible enemy. Today we have Corona. That is enemy number one. But what about a weak mind? A mind that totally gives up at the first instant of a threat. This is the challenge that we all have to overcome. We have to equip our youth. We have to equip our young ones. Right from schools and colleges, the children must be taught how to develop a warrior mindset how to stand up and delve inside their own cores to come up with that determination, with that dose of himmat, not giving up. Because if you give up, then you are over. And since it is a healthcare platform, we all know the importance of ECG. If it is going up and down, this means you are alive. So the youth must know that life without trials is no life at all. You are alive only when your life is going up and down. Because the moment the life goes still, your game is over.